Uh, I need to shut off it again, this game. You sure, Harvey? I don't do that. First of all, yes. Second of all, he is basically on call 24 hours a fucking day to solve crimes, get shot at, blown up, etc. She is not. Evelyn. Yes. So either she handles the wedding, or they get a wedding planner. Because this, this man does not have time for this shit. Oh, Petty Officer Joe's stomach content. The MDMA in Jones's system wasn't just your run of the mill pill. It was a capsule full of crystalline color. What's the difference? It's practically like a double dosage, meaning that the side effects would be twice as strong. And euphoria and trippy hallucinations and a serious jolt to your heart rate. Making for a death sentence for Jones. Yeah, check this out. The highest concentration of the drug was found in the undigested food that was still in Jones' stomach. The powder was mixed in with his sweet potatoes. Why would he do that? He wouldn't. I think someone laced Jones' food with the MDMA and it killed him. MDMA. It's an illegal party drug that... No, I, I know what it is. I just can't imagine Petty Officer Jones taking it. He was not that kind of kid. <laughs> Take it. Exactly. Somebody slipped it in his food. More specifically, the sweet potatoes. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. It's where it was concentrated in his stomach contents. It says here the crew has spaghetti then. No sweet potatoes on the menu? <coughs> Commander. Just on mine. My, my special order, though. Only this time, uh, when Jones brought them out, I had already lost my appetite. So I... So you offered them to Jones? I didn't... I didn't know. Those drugs are meant for you. I guess so. Yeah, but why? You have any issues? Anyone on your crew? Over 200 of my command, I can pretty much guarantee there are more than a few issues I don't know about. Crew members had access to your meals, Commander. Just some food service team. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. So, sailors get headaches? Don't be so naive, Queen. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, if you had ecstasy. Where will you hide it? I wouldn't have access to it. Hey, speaking of headaches, are you going to take a plus one to McGee's wedding? No. No. You mean like a date? Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. Weddings are weird enough without the extra pressure. Oh, man. I totally agree. I'm right there with you. Besides, it's way more fun to watch all the creepy guys troll the weddings looking for single women to hook up with. You know the type. Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I just, I just know that sometimes real relationships come out of those hookups. Really? I don't think so. Anyone going after some low 
hanging fruit, they're not really interested in a relationship. It's actually quite the point. Oh, I'm quite pathetic. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a romantic type. Oh. What is this? Mad aspirin. Who's bunk? Petty officer Heron. So much for our innocent buddy. Huh. Um, did, did I get our gumbears? Oh, gone. Wait. How do they get our guns? Shall we eat it? Not the whole day. Lila? I did not eat it. Uh. Okay. Hey. Hi. Oh, ate it. Wow, is that the time? Yeah, it's 9.30. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, I, ate it, I don't know. I yes, you do. Lay down for a minute, and suddenly it's two hours later. <sighs> well, obviously you needed it. You've been burning the candle on both ends. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you lay down. I will go work on the invitations, and when I don't get to, I'll do in the morning. No. <laughs> I can't. I want to feel like we accomplished some work today. It's what this beginning to feel like is work, huh? You know, it's our wedding. It's supposed to be fun. And it will be fun as soon as we get the invitations in the mail. There was only one guest I really cared about coming anyway. Who? You mean who? You. Aw, me too, you. But we're not guests, Tim. We're the main event. Will you please grab my chair? I. They're gonna also. Huh? They're gonna train the skilled individuals who. You know, much more stressful things uh, about wedding, so I think we're going to go wrong. All right. How you know? Hey, what happened to her? Collapsed. Oh, I don't know why. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You always look free up. Hey, Harry. Send me one of them old classics. You know the one called, uh, Those Aren't Mine? They aren't mine, I swear. Someone must have planted them there. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's the one. Now, why would someone do that? I don't know. Look, you gotta believe me. I told you I have no beef with Jonesy. Mm. What about your CEO? Oh, what? What does the commander have to do with this? Bowling. Eric, tell me one. The bowling? The knot. Go. We were checking to see if he was a boy scout or a good sailor. I've been both. <laughs> bowling. Go. You gonna tell me why I'm being tested? Tied the damn rope, Aaron. Okay. Clovich. Well, so what's next, Gabe? You gonna have him knit you a sweater? He's not our rope. How do we know that? Rope around the body was tied and granny done. It's amateur. It's sloppy. It's all wrong for my now body. Unlike this perfect club hitch. Like you know an imperfect one? I passed basic semen ship sister and every sailor I have. Alright, so we go back to the ship and we perform this test with the whole crew. It might not tell us who the killer is, but it might narrow down our suspects. Yeah, we get... <laughs> what? Where? Whoa, 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 slow down. Slow down. Hey, hey, I should there's still running tests. You should have called last night. Plus, I was a mess. I was totally a mess. Lila was out cold until the paramedics. She's right. gonna be okay. What if she's not? She will be. She will be. Come on, sit down. Boss, when the doctor was paralyzed, the doctor said that there could be more complications down the road. What if this is now? What if this is down the road? This is down the road. Tim, take a breath. Right. Come on, come see. That's what we were talking about when she went down. Those are her last words, I swear. No, won't be. Keep her in. It's like all the little things that we get so worked up every day, we ignore what matters most. Look at me. Let's just wait, okay? Take a seat. And breathe.
Well, come on, do it, Abby. You could tell me Lyle's okay. No word yet. Gibbs wants me to fill in until she is. So, what have we got? Um, Major Masbeck matched the MDMA found under Heron's plunk to the MDMA that killed Petty Officer Jones. No, we're fairly certain Herring's not our guy. Are you saying it's the exact same strength? Well, it's the exact same capsule. Known on the street as Blue Burgers. You know them? Yeah, I work narcotics back home. You know, they're very popular. Double dose and high intensity. They look nothing like my kind of burger. Just hung up with my friend Betty at the DEA. And what did your friend Betty say? Well, her office has been trying for months to nail a dealer in Norfolk who specializes in blue burgers. Do you have a name? Yep, uh, Vernon Palumbo. Apparently a big fixture in the Norfolk bar scene. Okay, Vernon Palumbo. He's got a long juvie record, mostly narcotics. He was paroled last year from Norfolk Detention Center. Can I see a drive, Ellie? Well, only if I'm driving. He has trouble staying on the left side of the road. <laughs> one time. One time, Eddie. What? He has a hard time not driving on the wrong side no. of the road. No, you keep checking, Torres, until we hear from Bishop and Reeves. No news <coughs> and ship. No. There is no news. I'll let you know when there is. Miss Lannis. <laughs> 